Hello everybody. I am Mr. Zero and welcome back to Small Saga. We're just gonna get right down to it. Let's go visit the Duke or the King or whoever he is. Ooh, what's up here? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, there's another level. It's a bit. Can I touch that? Two points. It's a god weapon and a fearsome one at that. <laughs> a battle won claymore. Temperance is a grind on the base of the blade. A coal headed hammer. Looks heavy. What a view. Sir, don't touch the magic missiles. They're extremely volatile. Roger, roger. What's your story? No access to the treasury unless you want to take on my genius intellect. Ready for the big performance? Sure, I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. My Duke, it looks like your entertainment has arrived. Better late than never. What am I looking at here? Pleasure to meet your acquaintance, my Duke. We are Bruce and Anton the Great. And we are honored to serve. Wow, your accents are pretty good. Is this a comedy set? Uh, no, that's just our voice. Shame. Maduke, I just have one question before we start. Where are all the flowers? Flowers? A rainbow of flowers is the signature of the Sky Garden, nah. A rainbow of flowers, what century are you fellas from? That nonsense of a mood when my great, great, great grandpappy took the throne way back when. And uh, that's not right. The rainbow is the eternal symbol of the Sky Garden. Oops, come down. Wrong, the rainbow filled with the symbol of Clan Red. Weakness and degeneracy. The symbol of Clan Grey is the wayward star above a striped sea. It is a flawless emblem. The star stands for strength, iron will, the seizing of destiny made manifest. <laughs> for we are the one house under the God, indomitable with freedom and righteousness for all. <laughs> ah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm a duke. But no patriotism. Entertain me. You ready, Lapa? Heck yeah. Ready as ever. Let's play Red Tail Rover. That always goes down well. Sounds good to me. Follow my lead. When I say left, you press left. When I say right, I press right. And so on for up and down. I know the note. Okay, on my mark. Remember that the court are mute, are made. Even Duke George can't help but smile. Lowell, that was great. 
Good job. You receive 15 seeds at the tip. Ah, yeah. Psst. Anton, how do you think Park is doing? That music pretty good. Wait a darn minute. I think I know the song. Ah, I can't remember the freaking song's name. What's it called? Roman Rodent or something? Pocket found the pebble of Yoon. He added it to his pocket. It called Red Tailed Rover. Ah, that's it. Think, pal. Wait, what? All right, all right, that's quite enough. Not my usual jam, but I gotta say, you two put on quite a show. Um, Mr. Duke Josh, sir. Sorry to interrupt, and please don't be mad, but uh, there's been a robbery. The treasury's been ransacked. What? Colonel Hank said the culprit was a lone jumping mouse or something like that. Oh no, we're going to get found out, Lapa. Keep your cool, babe. We can wiggle out of this. Hello. Robbed by one mouse, classic Hank. It's true that Hank's buffoonery knows no bounds. But still, even the boldest thief wouldn't dare to rob Guy Garden alone. If you want my console, Duke, there's something more going on here. A conspiracy, huh? You, Harley Quinn, show me your tail. Very flattered, my lord, but you're not my type. Don't be weird, I mean your actual tail. There ain't much to see, my duke, just the tail. Do not disrespect me. Guard. Hey, get your hands off me, you flea-bitten flag worshippers. Don't touch it. Take the Mac off too. That's interesting. Look at his flaming tail. Yeah. Take it in, ladies and gents. We are in the company of a very special guest. A girl of Clan Red. Haven't had one of you fellas this far south in, what, a hundred years? La, well, uh, hey Duke, remember what the uh, Caliac told you? That thing about Ray Burt's returning to take back his throne? Shut up, Lord Master. This ain't Red Ray Burt. It's just a pair of prancing fairies. My Duke, we're not here to take anyone throne. Please understand, I, I just want to see my home, to see my heritage. My heritage? God, this is beyond cringe. Guard, take him to the dungeon. Lamia, execute him at dawn. You heard the Duke. Move it, you two. I'll see you two in the morning. Right around breakfast time. I don't want to be eaten. It's okay. We can get out of this. Will we, though? Shut it and move it, you two. Hey, it's Larry. What's this? New prisoners, Larry? Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. Convicted by the Duke on ground larceny, degeneracy, and treason charges. Such a lit, my oh my. And where are you taking them? I'm escorting both of them to uh, cell 1D. Putting two friends together in the same cell. Larry, the, a basic mistake. S sorry, Captain. So, what do I do? Just remember from your ABC. From your training. Oh, um, uh, see it for, uh, Cage. Oh, yeah, Cage and Separate. Keep friends apart. You got it, man. Grab job. Thank you, Captain. I'm gonna hand it to you, fellas. Your ethics are lacking, but your workplace professionalism is top notch. This one's lippy. Put him in 2E. With the dragon? She's kinda psycho, Captain. Exactly, she'll teach this one a lesson. I'm scared, Lapa. 
Hang in there, babe. We can find a way out of this. <laughs> no touching. Get them out of here, Larry. And remember to confiscate the instruments. Yes, Captain Aiden, sir. the dragon's lair. Hey, I'm no fool. And you're no dragon, are you? I see no wings or scales. No wings, no. But even a grounded dragon had teeth and claws. I think we got off on the wrong paw. So let's start over. What are you in for? Same thing as you like. There's no place for queer folk in the free lands of the Sky Garden. Aye, but specifically, I hit on Blade Master Lemia. Ah, you're talking about the Full Metal Stout. What can I say? She had the great smile. She'd eat you, given the chance. God, I wouldn't wish. In any case, I thought she was one of us, but clearly I misread the situation. Because the next thing I knew, I was taking a steel gauntlet to the face. Hardest punch I've ever felt. Must be why they call her Lamia the Peerless. Aye, she did look pretty fierce. The name's Bruce, by the way. Gwinellian of Nirai Diwari Guayan, the Hall of the White God. But Gwen is fine. Guess I should get comfy. Enjoy my last meal or something. Yeah. Want a cake? Already? Hey, I've been sitting here like a cage pet for a month, like. Your arrival is an opportunity and I'm not wasting it. I'm breaking out today. I mean, yeah, gaping sounds good. But you're not going anywhere chained up like that. Right, you are. So getting out of the is step one of my three step master plan. The Kagon keeps the key for the bell and chain nearby. If you fetch it, I promise to get you safely to the surface. Tip for tap. Stealing the key from the gods, huh? I might be able to do that. Ah, but the door's a problem. You think so? Give it a proper shove. Before that. It's a tiny wooden statue of a hair with butterfly wing. A puraka. Did Gwen carve them from a wooden stool? The puraka fly freely. Save. Game up and saved. Whoa, it actually opened. Yep. The door's locked, thrusted through. The Quargon in uniform just haven't noticed. On that note, those idiots will be doing regular patrols. You're an arm, so stay out of their line of sight. Got it. I'll be quite a part of the louse. I'll just nab that key and I'll be back here before you can say hard time. Full have spirit, but does he have skill? Gotta learn the patrol routes. Aha, that's the key. Now to get back to Gwen. You know? Hey Gwen, look, I brought the... You're already free. You were taking too long, time and fleeting. Why did you send me out searching for a key if you could just free yourself? It was a test of your ability and of your character. You packed both with flying colors. Okay, sure, but uh, how? Leg comes off. What? Leg comes off. What? Okay, the conversation getting tiresome. 
Let's move on. Step two, taking back our weapons. My glaive and being kept in a storage room on the floor. That's where your weapon is too, I bet. Right, my weapon. You did bring a weapon, like... Oh, I. I'm not much of a warrior, but I brought the tools of my trade. Cracking? We've still got to stay out of sight until we get our weapons. But from here on out, the red dragon will lead the way. Got it. I'll stay close to your tail. When I join the party. The safe. He came back. something we shouldn't be concerned with because he ain't moving. Come on, come back around. There we go. Okay, there's two up here. Gotta be careful about that. Chocolate. The god dashed it for later. Wait for it. I gotta commit. Ooh, torch. This is it. The torch in the contraband room. And this. If my glaive, a fierce weapon, speciality of Whitehall. It features a 15 centimeter grooved grip for maximum reach. The stainless steel material provides unparalleled hardness and durability. And of course, the crescent shaped blade is more than sharp enough to cut anything that moves. <laughs> you sure like weapons, huh? We all have hobbies, so where's yours? Here we are. It's a flute. Made of wood. I think. I see. Is it a gun flute? <laughs> hey, don't underestimate the power of music, lass. The right melody can thaw a frozen heart or tame a fierce titan. So what's step three of your master plan? We batch in some god skulls and walk out the front door. Whoa now. I'm not bashing any calls. I'm a bard, no fighter. Is that a principal thing or a ooh, soft boy thing? I just believe that all the violence gets us nowhere. If we treat each other with kindness and respect, the world would be a nicer place, no? Hmm, okay. I think I understand. I'm gonna kindly and respectfully show the Kagi guarding the lift the edge of my blade. Sheesh, no this waiting you in there. 
I'll just lend support to my own way by tuning your flute. I. I hope that will be enough for whatever we'll face. Let's move. Look at all this stuff. There's a fire starter, definitely forbidden in prison. Dice and playing cards, no fun allowed it seems. You see contraband food and alcohol, someone's already raised the good stuff though. What's this? Remember your ABCs, aim high, be protective, cage, and separate friends, Captain Aiden. Is this a weapon or a god toy? I cannot tell. You see a book titled The Rat of War by Sun Shrew. A strike to an enemy shield afflicts a defense break, wherein the enemy will take increased damage with successive strikes for a small window of time. An opportunity to go on the offense. Conversely, a strike to the enemy's sword afflicts an attack break, wherein the enemy will find their own strike to be weaker for a small window of time. An opportunity to, re to reciprocate. When a warrior learns to balance their offensive and defensive measures, when they will have learned the key to victory. You see an incredibly lewd magazine titled Squeak. Oh dear. What you got there? Oh, smut. What do you think, Bruce? Left or right? Uh, gonna have to be left. For me, how about you? Oh, I'd never choose. It'd be like one, it'd be like ordering one paid three the menu of one of them fancy murder cafes. Not that I've ever been, but once we break out, like, right, I understand entirely. Enough perving, left mosey. What's this one? Stay positive, work hard, and get it done, Captain Aiden. Alright, go ahead and save. It's an effigy, seemingly God-made. The features are exaggerated to the point of caricature. Why would a rodent have this? The effigy stare blankly. All right, I'm going to end this one right here. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye now.